Hi folks, welcome to the channel. This is a bit of a different video. I'm not much of a talking head usually, but I thought I'd talk a bit about stabilization and dampening. Um, when you are faced with problems like trying to fly, you know, like a Zcam E6 or a Pocket 4K or Pocket 6K or a Komodo or whatever it may be, um, you are usually faced with the problem of trying to stabilize footage because FPV, obviously, you know, you can get away with a lot of stuff um, by just shooting raw as it is on, on the drone. If you fly a drone that is well-tuned and has good flight behavior like, like the Sicario, um, it is an awesome carrier uh, lifter for, for those kinds of cameras. Your center of gravity is nice and centered and it flies really awesome and so you don't need to do that much but depending on what you're doing for example you want to in post like center level your horizon or you want to just smooth things out a bit um, just because on the sticks you're not always the smoothest or just because you're going for a smoother look you know it's all they're all valid questions depending on what kind of shot you're going for anyway what you need to do in those circumstances is deal with dampening and uh, back when we were putting the thick together um, that was a big deal because, you know, I wanted to make a whole recipe. And the whole thing that I, that I started looking into first with these kind of uh, dampening legs made out of TPU. And they work decently well. Uh, if you make them thick, you know, a bit of tuning on how thick, how soft, how this, how that, how much infill, and yada yada. And then you, this is by the way my insider, um, so, you know, fully protective props. Um, I usually fly my Pocket 4K on this. I don't like carrying much more weight on it because it's not that powerful, but anyway. I tend to use the dampening on this with um, with these TPU legs. It works, works reasonably well. I moved away from that just because I tried sticking those into the freezer. <laughs> so that's minus, minus five Celsius. And those things became rock hard. And I tried to like start graphing out and see how those behave for different temperatures and already was imagining in my head I'm gonna make like different different dampeners for different temperatures in the morning. You know, you're going out to shoot, you check the temperature, boom, you put the right one on, but no one wants to do that. No one wants to do that. So the next thing I tried was um, actually metal wire, my wire, wire cables, like a lot of the like heavier payload systems use. Those were not practical. To be honest, for our application, the dampeners need to be small, right? Um, on a platform like this, you're, you're trying to not make the, the platform super high because then the camera goes, goes way too high and just bobs around anyway. And then there's another problem is that uh, with dampening, you want to make sure that the camera follows the movement of the drone, right? Um, it can't just bobble around. So what I ended up with was these, um, these alpha gel grommets. Uh, they come kind of squished together like this. Um, they are really soft and frankly, they have really good performance, very comparable to what I had with super floppy mounts uh, in terms of, you know, cropping out all the dampening, all the higher frequencies. So that's really nice. And uh, it follows the drone really well. So it helps make a deck that is very low. Um, you're able to build your, your rig really, your center of gravity really low and really compact. And uh, it's kind of a minimal, minimal print in terms of space. So that's what was the basis of the thick plate um, for the uh, for the thick, and is also the same system that we're using on the Sicario. On the Sicario, Andy Andy Shen from Chindrons came out with um, with his own kind of little dampening. We weren't too happy about uh, these alpha gel grommets being so expensive, uh, but uh, he came up with another little system based on silicone. It works reasonably well as well. They're just a bit stiffer. But anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of the backstory. Uh, let me just take you quickly through how we build those together. So how do you put these things together? So now let's say you were working with Sicario and you wanted to put on your uh, Komodo plate. You need to get some grommets. Um, once you grab the grommets, the first thing that you do need to do, let me focus you up right there. First thing you need to do is separate them. So you'll see this comes with a kind of little bob and there is a uh, little brass standoff in the middle. You need to separate these. They sort of open up like this and they separate in two. So you'll have the bottom bit, which looks like this and the top bit, which looks like this kind of a washer. Um, 
And so the assembly is actually quite simple, it is for each one of these holes in the plate, you are going to thread the bottom bit through, and then put the washer on top. Just like so. Make sure that thing is nicely on. Okay, and then grab a screw and a washer, you thread your screw into your washer, and there we go, that goes on top. And now on the bottom, um, so for Sicario you actually need a spacer, there's like a 5mm spacer that should come with a kit. I don't have one of those on hand, anyway I'm just putting two, two of those carbon washers, but it makes the same thing. As you can see from the side, let me get you a bit closer. You can see from the side the screw goes through it, and then you want to make it so that, well, you can compress these like that, and the washer just makes sure that uh, the grommet stays nicely in place and doesn't do any weird things. So yeah, so that's how it goes. Whoops. And then this threads straight in to the back. On the frame, here you thread into the standoffs in the back, and in the front, well, you send the screw all the way through, and then you just put a nut on the other side to hold it in. Pretty simple. If you are on thick, and you got one of the Gab soft mount plates, well, it's actually the same story, Here's my thick, as it is. Um, as you can see, it's got uh, ducts on it, but um, I don't really recommend <laughs> running the ducts. Um, it's just ridiculously loud as an X8. But uh, anyway, um, this is my soft mount plate. As you can see, I already have my, my Zcam mount attached. Um, I've actually zip tied it on. You see there's one zip tie here, one here, one here. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of zip ties. Um, I prefer zip ties, that way I can leave the plate on the on the quad um, and just cut the zip ties and uh, you know take the mount off and put another camera on. Um, you can also screw this down, there's like little slots for, uh, for screws and stuff and nuts if you want to do that, but anyway, besides the point, um, the assembly is the same. Uh, you take your, your bottom piece, thread that in here, screw, washer and little top alpha gel piece and send it through. There we go. And that threads into the stand-ups right there. So now you may be asking, well, what if, like how much do I need to tighten these? So when you go down with your screw, like this is the stage where we're just starting to touch, right? Um, and then you'll see the plate moves quite a bit. That is the best setting if you really want to do like stabilization and stuff like that, because it cuts out the most vibrations. And if you're running a low payload, like a, a light 500, 700 gram quad, um, that's probably going to be the best shot for you. Um, however, if you're running something heavier, um, you're going to want to crank these down a bit more um, just so that the, the alpha gel gets compressed a bit more. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how these work. On Sicario, the other option is to use these uh, silicone grommets that Shendrones makes. They are they look like this. There's a bottom piece is nice and high and the top piece they are quite squishy if you compare to the alpha gel ones they are definitely more rigid so um, it's kind of hard to convey squishiness on video here but um, yeah story's the same screw goes into the top through there thread the bottom one through your plate like so and send the screw through, and then you tighten it up. What does end up happening is that these, these silicone grommets tend to be much more rigid, 
So they're nice if you're trying to just track flight footage. Um, but if you're trying to do post stabilization, they, le they let through slightly higher vibrations. But you know, it kind of depends on your payload and what you're exactly doing. Um, for a lot of things, it works just as well. Um, Alpha Gel just has kind of the name, I guess the name brand to it, um, that these work in all sorts of temperatures and uh, they always stay this squishy. I've had them at like minus 10 degrees Celsius and they were just as squishy down there. So they are going to have the same behavior across any kind of temperature changes in the hot and the cold. And um, yeah, whereas for silicone, you kind of expect them, well, to change a bit. In the cold, they're going to be a bit more rigid and in the warm, they're going to be a bit softer. But you know, maybe it works for you. So give them a try. So folks, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you want to know more about these, well, check out the links in the description, I guess. I'll put links to the thick plate if you're looking for that for the thick. I'll put links to the Sicario if you're looking to get that. Uh, it comes with the plate included. Um, it's as an option you can choose between the silicone grommets or the alpha gel grommets. I should put these um, little bouncy legs that I have from my insider. I'll put those up somewhere. I've been trying to make Thingiverse work, but anyway, I'll put, try to put a link in there. Um, and yeah, ask any questions in the comments and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.